Hey, it's Brad with Splash Damage Tech at it again with another video on this 2017 Amazon Kindle Fire HD 10. The last video of this tablet was a quick unboxing, a look around, and a spec rundown. Now it's time to put those specs to the test. Let's get to some benchmarks. Let's start things off with Antutu, the classic Android device benchmark. This video will be sped up to accommodate how long this benchmark can take. The score of 77,994 was pretty low by modern, higher-end Android standards, and the 3D benchmark was pretty painful to watch. Just like the Nook Tablet 10.1 inch though, this tablet performs in games much better than the 3D benchmark would lead you to believe. Next up is the popular Geekbench 4 cross-platform benchmark. Since I've already run this benchmark on a few other devices, I simply had to run this on the Kindle Fire HD 10 and add the results to my graph. And this Kindle Fire HD 10 performed quite well here, with a score of 1198 single core and 2226 multi-core. This isn't bad at all. In fact, this score is more than double the single core performance of the Nook Tablet 10.1 inch and nearly double the multi-core score. This is impressive for a tablet that I only paid $99 for on a Black Friday sale. The last benchmark I ran is the browser-based benchmark by Google, Octane V2. Since I already also ran this benchmark on my other devices, I simply added the new results to the list. And as you can see, this score is pretty impressive as well. The 8,838 score here puts this near the middle of all my devices tested. That's all for this round of benchmarks on the Amazon Kindle Fire HD 10. If you found this useful, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. Next up, I'll be trying some gaming on this tablet and getting some back-to-back real-world experience with this and the Nook Tablet 10.1 inch. That's all for this one, so thanks for watching and have a great day.